Hey everybody, welcome to ABA Inside Track, the podcast that's like reading in your car, but safer. I'm your host, Robert Perry Cruz, and with me as always are my fabulous co-hosts. Hello, Rob. It's me, Diana. Hello, Rob. It's me, Jackie. Oh, that's a good, that's a really... That was nice. I'm going to keep singing. I'm going to keep thinking new jingles until I find my perfect Jackie jingle. Okay, that sounds good. (laughs) Well, welcome to our podcast about behavior analysis and behavior analytic research. This is our May 2023 preview episode where we discuss all of the episodes going out this coming month so that you can get a head start in reading your journal articles, as well as any other kind of fun things going on in our world or the world. So we're very excited for spring. Spring is sprung. I'm not excited for spring. We talked last preview. I don't, I do not like spring. Uh, Sam, I am. <laughs> I do not care for it. I don't want to talk about yard work. So let's talk about something else, like what episodes we'll be doing this this uh, this coming month. Why don't we start off with a bang? With what are we talking about this month on the show, Diana? So we are going to have four episodes for the month of May, which is pretty exciting. So the well, four- we actually will have. More than oh, four okay. episodes well, four for the month of May. Standard episodes, okay. I guess. Four the regular episodes. <laughs> and so the first of those is going to be a conversation with Dr. Claudia Dozier, where we talk about synchronous reinforcement, which is pretty exciting. And we have two articles we'll review in that conversation. The first is an evaluation of synchronous reinforcement for increasing on-task behavior in preschool children. And that was by Diaz de Viegas. Dozier, Jess, and Foley, published in Java 2020. We will also discuss using synchronous reinforcement to increase mask wearing in adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities by McHugh, Dozier, Diaz de Viegas, and Kahneman, and that was also published in Java, but in the year 2022. After that, we will have a discussion that uh, this one is actually just Rob and Jackie. This was the episode that I was not present for. Oh, that's right. And uh, in this one, it's titled Behavior Assessments You Didn't Know Existed. All right. So there's three articles that were reviewed in that episode. One is titled Towards a Comprehensive Assessment of School Absenteeism, Development and Initial Validation of the Inventory of School Attendance Problems by Nolman, Reisner, and Hebebrand, that was published in the European Child and Adolescent Psychiatry Journal in 2019. Additionally, uh, a paper titled Characteristics and Functions of Non-Suicidal Self-Injury in a Community Sample of Adolescents by Lloyd Richardson, Perrine, Dierker, and Kelly. And that was published in Psychological Medicine 2007. And finally, assessing the functions of non-suicidal self-injury, psychometric properties of the inventory of statements about self-injury by Klonsky and Glenn, that was published in the Journal of Psychopathology and Behavior Assessment in 2009. Up next, we're going to have a a conversation in the month of May about teaching manding, which we've never done before. We've talked about teaching tacting back in episode 79, Mm. but this isn't pairings, so let me contain myself. Uh, Rather, we're going to have three uh, articles in which we discuss teaching manding, and they are Evaluation of a Vocal Mand Assessment and Vocal Mand Training Procedures by Beret, Vollmer, and Rapp. That was published in Java 2004, taking it way back. Also, Teaching Caregivers to Implement Mand Training Using Speech Generating Devices by Superman and Sividini Mota. That was published in Java 2020. And finally, does teaching an omnibus band preclude the development of specifying mans? By Ward, Hanley, Warner, and Gage. And that was published in Java 2021. Ombudsman. Quite an array for that episode, which is very exciting. And then to round out the month of May, we're going to have Dr. Sarah Lachago back on the show to discuss her uh, baddie lab with us, which stands for Behavior Analyst for Diversity, Inclusion, and Equity. Uh, So it's B-A-D-I-E. So we're very excited to have her on. We're going to review two articles that have come out of that group, uh, either recently or upcoming. So 
the upcoming one is titled Training Behavior Analysis Graduate Students to Work with an Interpreter. And the next one is an experimental analysis of gender bias, verbal behavior, and self-editing using an online chat analog by Oda Lachago, Ineas De Silva, and Hunt. And that was published in JAB. We don't get too many of those. The Journal of Experimental Analysis of Behavior 2022. So it's very exciting. Uh, and we're excited to have Dr. Lachago back on the show. It was the first JAB article I think I read and said, I only had to read that once and it made sense. <laughs> so I was very excited. Beautiful, beautiful. So lots happening. So can I ask a quick question unrelated to episodes? If you put in parentheses in prep, what stage of you the haven't article, submitted it yet? You haven't submitted. So you're citing something that you're like, I'm pretty sure this is going to get published someday. You're like, yeah. I'm working hard, everybody. Okay. Yeah. And then it, under review would mean that you've submitted it. Oh, I've but never seen that. It's not been fully accepted. Okay. And then in press means it's fully accepted. You're just waiting for it to come out. That's usually only true for like a week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that things can be published online readily. And then finally, it's actually published. Ah, uh, I knew the, imp the imp in press made sense. But in prep always felt like that could be like, I have this great idea. It's, yes. it's in prep. I haven't written it yet. Or I got, yes. I got a napkin with some awesome notes. Right. Want to make sure that gets cited. So since the interpreter one, I wasn't sure if it was under review or in press i didn't give you all the information but when dr lechago comes on she can like fill it's us in, in prep review press right so prep review press yes yeah all right that's it oh that's it i thought we had one more no i'm done we're done okay those are all our regular episodes all right yep and speaking of non-regular episodes we actually have two non-regular episodes coming out although not everyone's going to get to see all of these until much later so first off we have our spring book club episode, which will be releasing. It might be releasing the last week in April, but it's probably going to be releasing the first week in May. Uh, that's going to be for our patrons at the $10 and up level. They're going to get the full discussion of our spring 2023 book club, all about skepticism. And we discussed the book Calling Bullshit by Bergstrom and West. We actually just recorded that with our friend Alan Haberman in book club. Uh, he likes contributor, to be book club guy, the book club guy, believe, which is probably a comic book guy reference. I'm guessing. Oh, that makes sense. I yeah. never thought about it that way. Yeah. Okay, our book club guy, Alan Haberman. We just recorded that, so that's that's going to be coming out in a few weeks. So if you are subscribed on our Patreon, then you will get access to that as soon as it drops. If you are not subscribed on our Patreon, don't worry, you'll get a short preview clip that you can listen to. But then you're just going to say, oh, I wish I could hear the whole thing. <laughs> I wish I could get the two CEs that come with being a, a subscriber. I wish I could get all of the book clubs immediately when they're released and then vote on the summer book club. Uh, and you're going to go to patreon.com uh, slash ABA Inside Track and subscribe to get the whole thing. Now, I always think, oh, we're not going to be able to talk about this book for two hours. And I'm always wrong. You, I can't believe after all these years you would doubt that I could lead a conversation about anything. For two hours. Maybe it's more like, oh, I think, I bet we can like wrap this up in less than two hours. I wish this and conversation that, I am lasted always wrong. for 30 minutes and then I could go do something no, else. But Is it's, that it? It, there's always just so much to talk about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, we go through a whole book. It is, it is, I think our book clubs, and we have gotten this feedback, it's, it's positive feedback. And it's good. Well, it's positive in the sense it makes us feel good about ourselves, <laughs> is that the book clubs should not be slept on. Because if you're like, I'd like to read that book, but I also don't feel like reading that book, listening to us talk about it for two hours is pretty close to, you know, if you don't want to buy the Audible and listen to it on a walk or while you fold laundry, I think our book clubs are the next best thing. <laughs> I think the first best thing would if the author came to your house and just followed you around reciting it. Oh, that's the word. I'd, I'd much rather read the book myself. <laughs> Yeah, the ringing like, self endorsement. Where do I put that author? He's not. They're not going to finish the book in a day. I got to like hang them around, give them a place to sleep, <laughs> gotta entertain them, feed them. Yeah, Alan is so insightful. He mm -hmm. is the perfect book club guy. Mm -hmm. he, he really is. He can just summarize it and wrap it up and like bring so much additional insight into it. I always learn so much mm -hmm. from Alan. <laughs> <laughs> so we have our book club, and if you then are so inspired by listening to the preview that you do subscribe on our patreon page well you will get we're not exactly sure 
how fast, but you'll get it sooner than everybody else. You will actually get a live talk, upcoming live talk that we'll be doing at Regis College for the Babbitt Student Group. Babbitt is our one of our local ABA organizations. We're big fans of them. And they asked us to do a talk about getting ready from student to professional. And so we are going to be discussing a number of articles. I don't have them all handy, uh, but but we have sort of a three-tiered model of, of what you need to know when you're entering the workforce. And even if you are already or have been in the workforce, I think it's a good reminder because we're always mentoring or supervising somebody who's new to behavior analysis. So that will be available for patrons as soon as possible. I We're going to try to live stream it. We're not 100% sure if we can do it right away. I think we'll be able to figure something out. But at the very least, it'll be coming out very soon after the recording. Uh, for everybody else, we'll talk more about that in June because then we'll be releasing that episode later, I believe in June or July or something. So you will eventually get to hear it, but you will not get access to all of the liveness of it, including video and some extra games that we're going to be doing for the group with the return of Brad Pitt or Lasers. Everybody's favorite game where I take something from behavior analysis and then something that uh, the average person might know about and you have to figure out which one is older. So we have that. I have my list. I did it. I did. I did a dry run with Jackie and Diana before uh, our last recording, and they were they were stumped, which is always what I want. I want about 50-50, getting it right. They're hard. They're good. I, I like. I, I was proud of this this group. This is a good group. So we have that coming up as well, and I think. Oh, and also we're gonna have our poll. I know it's soon, but we're gonna have our poll at the end of the month. Our poll for the summer book club. Uh, we don't know the exact books yet, but we can tell you the theme, which is. Diana feels like none of the books that she's already read and doesn't want to read again, but wants to discuss for book club never get picked. So why don't we just make a poll where all of those books get put in the poll so that no matter what, she wins and has already read or at least I'm the big winner. known of or at least read some of all of the books on the poll. So the, the theme is summer reads that Diana can just quickly breeze through while sitting on the beach Breezy because she's reads. already read the book. Breezy reads. The rest of us, who knows and who cares? It's all about... Diana and know. her choices. Maybe this next is, summer I with Jackie this was titled or me. Losers bracket. It was it was titled Losers bracket, but I'm pretty sure it was Losers bracket parentheses losers <laughs> that I've already read. I believe how you described it to me. <laughs> Breezy beach behavior analysis reads. Okay, there we go. A lot of sub. All right, so that's what's coming up in May. Let's get into Arata, which is where we talk about everything else going on. So we've got, let's see, we had a conference. We had the Babbitt Social, speaking of Babbitt, the Babbitt Social event just a few weeks ago, which we all got to go to. It was quite enjoyable. And it was a lot of speakers that we've had on the show. So it was very fun to see some old friends and colleagues there. In fact, all of the speakers had been on the show. Yes. A lot of them, but all of them. It is. Yes, I, they had. It, the show's been going on long enough that it's going to be increasingly hard to not go to a conference where at least one or two of the people you see presenting, you've already talked to about a similar topic or a different topic. But uh, we, yeah, we got to hear about uh, supervision and ethics and the future of behavior analysis. So a lot of talk about technology in that, which I, I thought was interesting because I think as one gets older, it can be harder to keep up with the speed of technology. So sometimes when people bring it up or bring up some examples of how you could use it, it makes it a lot easier to say, oh, I might use that or I'm going to go explore that versus just you know, Google telling you, this is the new technology. And then you say, I don't want to use that. I hope it goes away soon. And then half the time, new technology kind of just does go away or just just get subsumed into some other technology you use without knowing. So I think it's nice when you have other people share. Surprised how excited everyone was about the robots that might take over our jobs. (laughs) They took our jobs! (laughs) So that was a lot of fun. It was a fun activity. times, yeah. I think uh, Massaba has a conference coming up, which I don't believe any of us are going to be able to go to. And Vermont Abba has a Vermont Abba conference coming up in May. Yeah, and then uh, the Baba conference, the Black Applied Behavior Analysis conference, is coming up uh, in mid mid June, kind of set to 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 wrap up the last days on uh, Juneteenth. And this year, we've never been able to go. We've had uh, Adrian Bradley and some of the other speakers on the show before. And we've been a Sponsor of the conference. We've sponsored since it. It's inception. That's right. We sponsored it every year. But this year we finally said, you know what? Let's go. So two out of three of us will be going. Do you want to know which two? Well, you have to go to the Baba conference and then try to find us, <laughs> I guess. That's weird. <laughs> and if you don't see us, it is it because you didn't find us or because we, we were the one member of the show who weren't there? 
a lot of fun. Anyway, it's, we're it's very a game. excited. It's a meta I'm game. Spoiler, excited. spoiler alert, I'm not going. Okay, fine. <laughs> So yeah, a lot of we're not speaking there. We're just coming. Yeah. To we're just coming. To, we're just coming to see this talks. Yeah. yeah, not because I don't want to, but because I got a new puppy, and so I need to make sure the puppy lives. That is important with a puppy. How do you do that, Jackie? What, what's what's the what's the regimen right now to keep that puppy alive? Tell us about this puppy. This puppy is a white golden retriever. He's about eleven weeks old, and I wake up at five fifteen every day. And go on the most slowest walk in the history of walks. <laughs> so slow. And then the puppy's asleep by seven so that I can get work, get myself ready. And then he wakes up and then we play again until nine and then he falls asleep again. It's just like a baby. Oh, oh my fun. And he'll wake up in a little bit. And I have to take him out before my next meetings and then he eats and then he naps and then he eats and then he naps and then he eats and then he goes to bed. Wow. I haven't had a puppy since I was a kid, so I forget that they... They don't do as much as you'd think. You think they just run around and chew on stuff, which I guess they'll do eventually. Yeah, and they pee everywhere. So on Monday, we had 40 accidents in the house. Yesterday, we only had five. So we're doing okay. good. We're on a decreasing trend. <laughs> That's a big decrease, actually. Yeah, it is huge. It's only been a couple of days. So hopefully today we've, we're at zero, but the day is young still. So The day is still young when we record this. All right, excellent. So I think that is pretty much everything that we are up to this coming spring into the summer and then we'll be back in june to talk about some of those again but some of them will have already happened so yeah. i have two everything i have two emails. oh yes we got some emails yes jackie please yeah so i have uh an email from listena pernima i hope i said your night your name right and so this listener is quadruple board certified in dentistry, pediatric dentistry, behavior analysis, and health and wellness coaching. Woo! Incredible. Wow. Your resume is amazing. What a uh, hobby. And so they wrote us in to uh, say thank you for publishing the Ascent episode that we just had, which was episode... 235. 235 with Haley and Alex. Um, and Purnima says, thank you for always bringing honest and non-traditional conservations to our community. Um and she and they say building safe spaces is a topic that they lecture around on the country. So they said that this is uh, an a, 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 an episode that touched them deeply. So, oh, I like that. Thank you. That was so nice. Thanks for writing in, Pranima. I recognize your name as being a longtime listener as well. So, and thanks, Pranima. I gotta get on your like study habits because you must have done a lot of study. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, maybe we should have Pernima on to talk about the science of studying so much that you can get that many certifications in a lifetime. Okay. So, uh, and we had another funny um, email from a listener, Joanna, and it said, it's like a, it's like a little meme from Facebook. And she said, this is funny, starring my seven-year-old niche, my niece. And it says, oh my God, this child, her class gets bear paws on a board when they are good and a reward when they get a certain number. They just started a new goal, 22 paws, and everyone gets to bring in two toys. Me, that's cool. And then the niece, yeah, but the whole class has to be good. Me, oh yeah, bet that's hard. Her class includes some what she calls terrors. Uh, niece, well, but if some of them are absent, wanders off. No. Her tone clearly implied absences could be arranged. Oh, no. <laughs> so that's when, when group mm. contingencies miss. Interdependent group contingencies. Little Billy sleeps with the fishes. <laughs> so thanks for saying that in. That gave me a good thanks, chuckle. Thanks, Joanna. Um, but that's all I have. I also for- recognize her name, too. So yeah. Hi, Joanna. <laughs> you write in. Dinah knows your name. So true. We're like, we're like the cheers of podcasts. Yeah, I was just going to say that. <laughs> where everybody knows your name. I'm glad okay. my talents can go to use that I can like tell you guys the names of people and all the episodes off the top of my head. That's great. You know? What a skill. Yep. All right. What it was so skill. great talking to you both. It was good to you. But yes, Jackie, you've got to go put your puppy out. And, and do some thesis defenses and yeah, spring pee. spring in the life of a college professor seems no fun. It's the it's worst, too busy. but it's also All really right, not great. But pretty soon it's gonna be May. That's right, it's coming up very soon, and that's what we just talked about. <laughs> so everybody knows what's coming out in May. Uh, remember, if you want to get all of these awesome things, we know they're going to be awesome. We haven't recorded all of them, but we're just, just making some assumptions now. 
uh, please make sure to subscribe, not just on your favorite podcast player, but on patreon.com slash ABA inside track. Cause you don't want to miss a thing. I can do, I can do uh, song titles too. Don't do it. No. Okay. Sorry. Other than that, we'll be back with the first of these full length episodes next week. But until then, keep your puppy outside to pee and keep responding. Bye. Bye. Bye.